for tuning into Bochi Not Macrame. Here is where you will find everything related to macrame, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you today's tutorial. It's part two of the five ways to start a macrame plant hanger. So last year I released part one of the five ways to start a plant hanger. This time in part two of the five ways to start a plant hanger, we'll be going over a few ways to start a macrame wall plant hanger and also a few ways to start a traditional ceiling plant hanger. I have come up with a few unique ways to start a plant hanger, so make sure you stay and watch till the end to see what those are. And with that, let's begin. The first one is called wrapped ring plus lark's head knots. I've chosen to use a metal ring of about 6.5 centimeters in diameter. You can choose to use a metal or a wooden ring I find that when I'm making wall plant hangers, I generally prefer to use metal rings since they are skinnier and are generally easier to hang up than wooden ones onto the wall. So taking a strand of cord, I've used a strand of cord of about 200 centimeters long, depending on what design or pattern you want to use for your plant hanger, 200 centimeters might not be enough. But if you want to know how to appropriately measure cord for your projects, you can refer to my how to measure cord video tutorial and I'll post a link to that in the video description below. Take one end of the cord, which is the back end here, and make a loop and then pull the end through the loop to tighten. Then taking the other end, Begin wrapping the cord around the ring. Continue until the entire ring is wrapped with the cord. Once the entire ring is covered, we're going to take the right cord, which is the cord we started with, and we're going to make a lark's head knot. So taking the cord to the back and then back to the front, pull it through the loop. Then taking the other cord end, we're going to weave it through the back and then to the front and through that same loop that was created from the other cord end. It should now look like a lark's head knot. Now you can continue adding strands of cord onto the ring using Lars head knots, depending on how many strands of cord you need for your macrame plant hanger. The second way to start a plant hanger that I wanted to show you guys is the Lark's Head Knot plus Square Knot Chain. As you can see, I've already attached 8 strands of cord folded in half onto the ring using Lark's Head Knots. What we're going to do is make a consecutive square knot chain. So taking the far left 4 cords, make a square knot. 
then continue for five more consecutive square knots for a total of six square knots. We're going to divide the vertical cords into four sections of four cords. We're going to make four continuous square knot chains. Then continue with the next set of four cords to the right and make another six consecutive square knots. Continue until you have four square knot chains. Once all four square knot chains have been made, we are going to take the far left and far right chains to meet in the middle and we're going to connect them with a square knot with the middle four cords. Taking the left four cords from the center, make six consecutive square knots again. Once that is done, continue adding six consecutive square knots on each of the four sections. Taking the far left and far right sections again, meet them in the middle and connect them with another square knot. Then you just have to repeat the pattern again and continue until you have reached your desired length of the pattern. The next one is the gathering knot plus clove hitch spiral. Taking several strands of cord, weave it through a ring. I've chosen to use 12 strands of cord. Then taking a strand of cord of about 30 centimeters long, start wrapping it around the vertical cords by making a gathering knot.
Take a vertical cord as an anchor cord and then take the cord next to it on the left as a working cord for a double half hitch knot or otherwise known as a quilt hitch knot. Then continue with the next cord on the left and make another double half hitch knot. Start making a diagonal row of double half hitch knots. So this knot will be slightly lower and diagonal to the last one. Then continue with the next vertical cord. Until you've gone around and made a double half hitch knot with all the vertical cords. Continuing with the diagonal line. You should see now that a spiral is starting to form. Continue with the same anchor cord and then starting with the vertical cords again, continue making a diagonal row of double half inch knots. Continue with the double half inch knots for as long as you'd like, but this is what it will start looking like. The fourth way consists of lark's head knots and alternating square knots on a wooden dowel. This is a great way to make a wall hanging plant hanger. After all 12 cords, are attached onto the dowel using Lark's head knots, we're going to start making alternating square knots. Starting with the left four cords, make a square knot, then continue with the next four cords to the right. Continue with the pattern until the entire row is made of square knots. Then about two inches down, in between the first two square knots on the left, make an alternating square knot. Continue to the right for four more alternating square knots. Add another row of alternating square knots underneath. Once this row is complete, make three more rows of alternating square knots. The last row should consist of one square knot.
This fifth and last way to start a plant hanger is a good way to make an air plant holder. So I've used a small 3.5 centimeter metal ring. And to begin, attach two cords onto the ring using Lark's head knots. Make a square knot underneath the Lark's head knots with the four cords. Taking another two strands of cord, fold it in half, at the loop ends, make a square knot. So you will take the far left and far right cords and make a square knot. Pull on the inner two cords after to tighten the knot. We will then attach this square knot to the side of the original square knot pattern. Make an alternating square knot to attach the two patterns. Make another square knot pattern and attach to the right side of the pattern. Then you can continue adding as many square knot patterns to the left and to the right until you have reached the desired width of the plant hanger. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I will be taking certain aspects of today's tutorial and incorporating it into a macrame plant hanger that I will be releasing on Patreon later this week. So stay tuned for that, and if you're interested, please check out the link in the video description below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe for more macrame content. I'll see you guys next time.